everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a Thursday upload and we're gonna go behind the scenes and talk about everything that's going on in here and let you guys know what to expect video-wise. So, jumping right into it. You will notice, if you guys continue to watch, this past Monday's video was on a zip tie tire change method and I had promised you guys a CB450 video. Yeah, that's right, I did promise you that. Well, it turns out I'm an idiot and I lost all of the footage for the first start. I went to edit it and basically what happened was it all got corrupted and just up a creek, you know, that kind of thing. Um, super, super bummed out about it. I really was looking forward to making that video. I have, I have some clips left, but I do not have the actual process of the first start and it just, it kills me because that was something I promised you guys. I really looked forward to making that one. So I will have a 450 video going up the Monday after this video uploads and uh, it will be kind of a explanation of what was happening in that video or why that one was corrupted and it will bring you guys up to speed and then we will look for another 450 video as we make it roadworthy. But I can tell you that bike is fantastic. It is up and running right now. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's gonna be a really good bike. It's gonna be a really good bike. So really excited about that one. Um, but equally, if not more bummed about losing the footage because that stuff is important to me. So behind me, I've got my challenge bike, my CB360 up here been doing a little bit of work to this thing. I did find out what the issue was for the kind of misfire or not running on the right cylinder. And it was in fact a diaphragm not being seated correctly, just as I thought. So I have the diaphragm fixed in that thing. I just threw a chain on it. I still need to actually mount the fuel tank kind of correctly because it was just ratchet strapped on. I know that builds character but I don't want it falling off and I don't want explosions. So I do need to work on making a mounting system for that thing, which would be cool. And uh, soon enough, that thing will be back on the road. Seth has, has gone through his CL350 and that thing is like good to go right now. So uh, we've been cruising that thing around a bunch and having a lot of fun on it. So yeah. Behind that though, on the table, you will notice a couple cylinder heads. So let me flip the mic around and I'll uh, explain what's going on here. Okay, up here we have a couple cylinder heads, obviously. So these are for that black CB750 Cafe racer you guys have seen a few videos ago. So this is the head off of it. And if you remember, it uh, actually touched the valves to the pistons. So I wanted to go ahead and take the head to a uh, machine shop, just have it inspected because I had some concerns about it. And it turns out that all of the um, guides for the exhaust valves are uh, out of spec, so they need to be replaced. But the issue is you know, just the labor costs associated with this. So to replace all of the guides and then get new exhaust valves, you know, potentially even intake valves, lap them in, do all the work associated with that, the it's just very cost prohibitive. And so, you know, I, I hopped on eBay and you're able to find CB750 cylinder heads pretty damn cheap actually so this is the exact same casting it's a 392 kind of an f head later model and uh, this one was pretty clean so we've got the rest of it cleaned up and we're just going to go ahead and clean the valves here um, and relap them in so the mission is actually to have the this bike running today today we're gonna do it so yeah getting this thing cleaned up right now Seth's starting to work on wire brushing these things as soon as I stop recording I'm gonna start lapping valves and then this thing will go together hopefully pretty quick. Beyond that bike, we have this uh, CX650 in here. And so this thing had a, a running issue or a fuel leak issue and upon inspection of the carburetors, we found a broken off easy out in one of the pilot jets. So I had to actually order a different set of carbs for it. I found a smoking deal on a, on a set of CX650 carbs. I think they're too cheap. I don't know. Do you think it's a scam? Nah. Okay. Well, that's him. I don't know. It's, it's almost too cheap. So we're going to see. Regardless, we can mix match parts and make one good set. I'm just walking back here. I, I know we're working on stuff, but I can't remember what is new since last week because it's been so busy. Zet Chopper. 
This thing is a road going, cruising machine. We got new skins on it. Um, the steering bearings, swing arm bushings, new chain, and I fixed the whole rear frame section here. And that thing is awesome. I'm working on a video currently for it. Seth's CB350, you rode it in today? Yeah, so you got it running a lot better over the weekend? Better. Better. Okay, not per well, none of them are perfect. Uh, it's, it's noticeably not perfect. Oh, okay. But it is rational. It sure looks good though. That's really all that matters. It just gotta look good. It doesn't have to even run, it just needs to look good. Yeah. So, yeah, here's the 450. Look how freaking shiny this thing is. Got some good plans of this thing. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Okay, all rings in there. Those weird ones right there. Okay. Clap your hands twice. Done. All right, it's the end of, what is today, Wednesday? It's like 6.45, we gotta get out of here. Engine's in the bike. Most of the stuff is on it, but I need some washers. The studs on the uh, exhaust here are a little longer, so I can't put the nuts all the way in there to get those on, and so we'll just call it a day on this thing. Um, kind of fought us going in. We had to fight the, the oil cooler lines and stuff. They we, I mean, we should have taken them out before, but anyway, we fought them. So, yeah. Also, yes, of course, I got a haircut. Looks a little bit different, but it is the same day. So, yeah, um, that's kind of it for today. Tomorrow, I should have the carburetors for that CX650 there. And then we'll definitely get that thing going. Take it for a spin. And I would like to turn my attention to the 360 here and try to... I don't know, attempt to do at least a tank mount on it. And then that's pretty much all I need to ride that thing. And uh, of course, swap the front end. But I don't even have a brake cable yet, I don't, I don't think, for that drum. Uh, we might have one laying around. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. But anyway, look for the video on the CB450 on Monday. And then the following Thursday, who knows what we'll be into. So anyway, I hope you guys like this one and uh, check some other videos out on the channel. I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.